Welcome to September's edition of Send It Sessions. And if you're a wave sailor, just wait to see this first section. It is epic. Uh, we've also got freestyle action from the newly crowned European champion. Uh, we catch up with young French ripper Loic Le Savage down in the south of France. We also have an old man joke. But like I said, without further ado, let's go over to Namibia and the South African crew just going off. Yeah, we went to the African desert after watching the awesome footage from Robin Nash and Kai Lenny sitting in the car waiting for waves and we just thought it might be good fun if there were really waves. So we went, Stefan checked the forecast and said, it looks good. Stefan, Pete, uh, myself and um, Thomas and of course uh, our brilliant photographer uh, Marlene and yeah we scored we had um, three days uh, lots of wind unbelievable waves I think it's the ultimate wave to be honest in regards to traveling it's a bit of a hassle um, and then of course you will find lots of animals there like the crocodiles or the sharks absolutely brilliant waves running all the way down to the end of the beach um, nah, it's the ultimate wave a place that is I mean how long are those waves if you're a wave sailor and you haven't watched that going I want to go there when's it good how do I get there what do I do it's on the list it's on the list it just looks epic although that last section 
<laughs> Hansy, you're my new hero, man. You are going for it. It like breaks right on the sand. Looks nasty, but uh, some absolutely lecker waves brew. Good job, guys. Uh, and a massive thanks to Marlene for sending us that footage because that is what Send It Sessions is all about. You know, it's not about the top guys in the world. It's about the the hungry ones, the ones chasing the forecast, they get the footage and then we edit it and we show it to the masses to show what is out there and what the community is doing. Just legendary stuff, guys. I absolutely love it. And talking of loving it, this next guy, Amado Vriesweig, has just been crowned the European champion. How's it feel? Boom, European champion. How does it feel? It feels great, it feels really good. Also with uh, changing to the future fly boards um, and getting those Tamado freestyle machines ready for the events. So um, before going to Austria, I just got the board a week before, so it was hard. I didn't have, actually haven't had many sessions on the board before going there. I had one in the snow and one very cold session in, in Braosdam before the event. So for me, it was more about um, getting used to the board in. Oscar itself, so Tati and Arnold did a very, very good job with Tamado. Very happy with this. <music> Managed to win Oscar, which was an amazing feeling. Also because uh, I know all the freestyle are pushing the levels, um, so it's hard to see where the level is. I mean, you can see them on, on videos here and there, but you no know, competition is always different. After Austria, I did not do much freestyle anymore. I really went uh, deep into the IQ training. I've been doing a lot of IQ. So I had maybe two or three sessions before Greece. We managed to start with great conditions. It was not the strongest winds, but it was a perfect 5-2 um, condition uh, to freestyle with the waves, with the kickers. I think it was very fun, um, very exciting as well to see other riders. bit unlucky that we didn't have many events but still a, a huge congratulations to Adam and the whole EFPT team to make at least those two ha events happen knowing how difficult it is with the current situation we're in. I mean the level is getting very very high I must say before it was top five it was very close but now at least top ten so one small mistake you're out so really have to stay on it, um, get the best heat in. we're gonna have more events on amazing locations like Greece and um, yes looking forward to it thank you
Yeah, I reckon it feels pretty good to be European champ, but can, can he take the world title? Well, up until a few days ago, that wasn't looking likely. There was no comps, but the PWA have just announced there will be a Grand Slam event in the south of France, freestyle, wave, and slalom. So Marta Vrieswijk, if he wins the world title, he would be the undisputed champ for 2021. You wouldn't put it past him, would you? You wouldn't put it past him. But this next section is about the waves because the wave spot is gonna be different, I think, to the freestyle and the slalom. They're gonna be sailing at a spot called Caro. What's it like? How is it? Well, we spoke to Loic Le Savage to get the lowdown. Caro is like, for me, one of the most uh, irregular spots that I know because you can check the weather and you are like, Oh, it can be good, but in real life, you don't know. For this day, it was like pretty a classical caro, you know, uh, really slow at the beginning, and in the day, it can grow and with, with stronger wind more wave but um, these days was like pretty smooth wave not pretty powerful at the beginning of the day I prefer to train on my jump so when you jump at carry you are pretty in front of the spots or more upwind because you you can see where all the wave breaks and you can a bit slalom around the waves. If you, you know fall and let the gear, you need to swim because there is, there is a lot of currents on this spot. But um, that was a good session. I swam a lot. You know, uh, it's Carol, you don't know. Yeah, well, not the glowing review we would have wanted, but I have seen the videos. I know it can go off. Early November, it's going to be a toss a coin job. Yes, for sure. It always is in Northern, sort of, well, even just in Europe at that time of year. If we get the system through, it will go off. One event, the title will be won. So fingers crossed, we will get a new champ in 2021. Whatever happens, it's going to be exciting, especially the slalom and the freestyle. Yes. Um, so there we go. That is it for Sandy's session. But there is one last person, Andrew Lyne. His sister has been having a word, so he sent this in. So, my sister says these videos are boring. So she suggested that I tell an old man joke. So an old man goes to the doctor. Oh, we got something. And he says, I can't hear nothing. So the doctor takes his your checker thing in the jigger it says sir you've got a suppository stuck in your ear the old man goes what you got a suppository stuck in your ear sir the old man says wow now i know where i put my hearing aid so there you go there you go, internet people. Hopefully that was more interesting. Yeah, rate the joke. We reckon five out of 10. <laughs> Not bad, mate. I reckon you can do better. If you think you can do better, send it in. And we want you guys to send in your sessions. It is send it sessions time. It's autumn in Northern Europe, in Europe. This is when the good forecasts come. All you need to do is capture the action. Give us some words, Alfie will edit it. So send it to alfie at windsurfing.tv and you could be in October's edition. Gotta say a massive thanks to these legends. They have supported the channel. They're members now of Windsurfing TV and as well as feeling good for themselves and going, yeah, you know what? I watch it every week. I feel good that I've given them some money to keep going. They are also gonna be in with a chance of winning stuff. And we have a good competition coming up from 
SavernShop.com. They are giving away three Saverne blades, not just any blades. These are SavernShop.com own sales. I think they've got 200 or so many sales made for them. There's an extended warranty. It's a different colorway. Kind of cool stuff. Um, you could be in with a chance of winning if you're a member of Windsurfing TV. So support the channel. All the information's below. All makes a massive difference. Um, let us know in the comments what you think and we'll see you for the next one.